Hello students, in this tutorial we are going to discuss example 6 of principle of mathematical induction. Now we are going to prove that 2 into 7 raised to n plus 5 in 3 into 5 raised to n minus 5 is divisible by 24. Here we are going to prove that this given statement is divisible by 24. Let us look at the proof now. Let the given statement be p of n. So this is p of n now. In step 1, we always show that the given statement is true at least for the first natural number that is n is equals to 1. So let us put 1 in place of n. So what it gives is 2 into 7 is 14, 3 into 5 is 15 minus 5. So 14 into, so 14 plus 15 is 29 minus 5 is 24, 24 which is divisible by 24. Therefore pn is true for n is equals to 1. Okay, we just proved that the given statement is true, is divisible by uh, is divisible by 24 for n is equals to 1. So now in step 2 what we do, we assume that the statement is true for other natural, number, other natural numbers also. Okay, and let that be k. So here all the n are replaced by k. And here instead of writing divisible by 4 in sentence, we are writing it in the mathematical term. That is, it is divisible by 24. I have explained this in detail in the example 4. So if you want a detailed explanation, you can check example 4. Okay. So this is 24. Uh, this is divisible by 24. That is divisible by 24. And let us consider this equation as 1. Okay. Next, step 3. Here we need to prove that the given statement is true for n is equals to k plus 1 also. So what we do? We replace all the k by k plus 1 here. This k is replaced by k plus 1 and this k is also replaced by k plus 1. And what we ultimately need to prove is that this left hand side is divisible by 24. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll split this term here. 2 into 7 raised to k plus 1 gets split into 7 raised to k into 7. This plus 3 into 5 raised to k plus 1 gets split into 5 raised to k into 5 and this is minus 5. So what, I, so what I can do here is I can substitute the value of 2 into 7 raised to k. Okay, so I'll, so I'll just put this in the bracket and 7 I'll keep this outside and this terms will remain as it is. So I have to substitute the value of 2 into 7 raised to k. So what is the value of 2 into 7 raised to k is this. How I get this? This I got from the pk. This is nothing but pk. This is pk. Okay. And I have derived 2 into 7 raised to k is equals to 24d minus 3 into 5 raised to k plus 5. Okay. This I have derived from pk. So I will substitute 2 into 7 raised to k as this value. Okay. Plus 3 into 5 raised to k into 5 minus 5. This term will remain as it is. Next, I'll multiply the bracket that is 7 into 24d, 7 into 24d, this minus will come here, okay, 7 into 3 into 5 raised to k, then this plus will come here, 7 into 5 and this term will remain as it is again. Next, what I do is, I'll multiply all the like terms that is 7 into 3, that is 21 into 5 raised to k plus 7, 7 into 5 is 35 plus 3 into 5 is 15 and 5 raised to k minus 5. Next, let's make addition and subtraction on the like terms. See here, these are the like terms. 21 into 5 raised to k and plus 15 into 5 raised to k. So what you get is minus 21 into 5 raised to k plus 15 into 5 raised to k. What you get minus 6 into 5 raised to k. So that's why minus 25, um, 21 into 5 raised to k plus 15 into 5 raised to k. What you get is minus 6 into 5 raised to k. So next plus 35 and minus 5. Plus 35 minus 5 what you get? 30. That's what you wrote here. Next 7 into 24d minus here I can take uh, 6 as common. For example 6 into 5 raised to k plus 30 it is isn't it? Uh, this term can also be written as 6 into 5 raised to k plus 6 into 5. Okay. So we can take 6 common. What remains inside is 5 raised to k minus 5. That's what it is here. Okay. 6 I have taken as common. So what remains inside is 5, 5 raised to k minus 5. So here I have got 24. If I get 24 here also, it will solve much of my problem. Isn't it? We can take common. 24 we can take common. So let me see what I can do with this term. Okay. Uh, see here 5 raised to k minus 5. Let me put the natural numbers in place of k. Okay. Well, let me put 1 in, in place of k. That is 5 raised to 1 minus 5. That will be 0. 
put 2 in place of k. 5 raised to uh, 5 square is nothing but 25. 25 minus 5 is 20. Put 3 in place of k. That is 5 cube is 125. 125 minus 5 is 120 and so on. So what I can derive from all these numbers are that these numbers are divisible by 4. So I can conclude that 5 raised to k minus 5 is divisible by 4. So how can I write this? That is 4 into any letter. That is it is divisible by 4. 5 raised to k minus 5 is divisible by 4. We write 4 into any letter. That is m here belongs to the natural number. So what I get is 6 into 4 that is 24 and is m here. So I get 24 here. Now I can take 24 common. So what remains inside the bracket is 7 into d remains minus and here m remains. So I told you in the earlier example also that is example number 4 that if anything is multiplied by 24 then it is anything is multiplied by 24 then it is divisible by 24. So with this we can conclude that this left hand side is divisible by 24. Hence p of k plus 1 is true whenever pk is true and by pmi the statement is true for all the natural numbers. If you have any questions or any doubts please let me know in the comments below. Okay. Thank you so much.